Hello, my name is Alison Hanlon. I'm an associate professor at the UCD School of Veterinary Medicine in Ireland, and I've been asked to define zoocentrism. Zoocentrism comes from the Greek words for animal, zoo, and central, centrikos, and it relates to ethical values that focus on animal interests. The Oxford English Dictionary defines zoocentric as centred upon the animal world, regarding or treating the animal kingdom as a central fact. Whilst animals are central to zoocentric philosophies, humans may also be considered as part of the moral community. Zoocentrism emerged from the social justice movement in the late 18th century, such as the abolition of human slavery and the suffragette movement. A growing awareness and concern for animals resulted in the establishment of animal protection organisations, such as the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals in England, which after royal decree became the RSPCA in 1824 and it continues to be a leading organisation today. The focus of the animal protection movement evolved to reflect societal concern. For example, public disquiet regarding the use of animals for medical research resulted in the formation of anti-vivisection societies in the UK in 1875. By the following year, the Cruelty to Animals Act was published, the first law in the UK to regulate animal experimentation. A second wave of societal concern for the treatment of animals occurred in the 1960s with the publication of Ruth Harrison's book Animal Machines, which raised awareness of intensive livestock production. It sparked a series of events leading to the UK government's Bramble Report, recommending that farm animals should have five freedoms, which initially focused on the spatial allowance of animals. A revised version of the five freedoms remains in use today and is applied across a variety of animal sectors. The societal concern triggered by Harrison's book also catalyzed the development of modern zoocentric philosophy, such as Singer's advocacy of treating equal interests equally and Tom Regan's animal rights doctrine, amongst others. It also signalled the emergence of animal welfare science and regulatory reform. Today the focus of regulations on animal welfare in the European Union and other countries has evolved and is evolving to reflect scientific evidence on animals' needs. To conclude, zoocentrism recognises animals as a central part of the moral community. It emerged from the social justice movement in the late 18th century and following a second wave of concern in the 1960s has evolved to create modern zoocentric ethical theories and animal welfare science.